Shalem <clears throat> Grand Rising. So y'all know I went to the strip club where the strippers be at. And it was um it was a bittersweet moment. I used to strip when I was young and everything has changed but I was just reminded of my past and to see the young ladies in there you know like when I first got there I got me a stack of ones and you know I already know how to call them you know what I'm saying I set my ones on the table so <clears throat> Two of them ran down on me at the same damn time. So they took my stack down quite a bit. And I had already let them know, listen, y'all not going to get my drink money. You know, I want to get me a drink. But before I could get a drink, another young lady came over. And she, you know, I told her, hey, this is my drink money. But she started shaking that ass and... You know, so she got my drink money. But when she started shaking that ass, you know, it was an odor. And I was like, okay, you in here fucking. <clears throat> and I had become sad because I realized, like, you know, does if this young lady had somewhere to go, you know, like her family, would she be in there selling her body? And so it was confirmed because the first two ladies that came, you know, and the men actually walked away from them. Once I let them know, okay, I'm done. You know what I'm saying? I got to give me a drink. And so, you know, they kind of stopped dancing and was standing around for a minute. But the guys that were standing <clears throat> behind me, because I was sitting at a table. They walked away like, oh, bitch, we ain't got nothing for you. She, you know, she done gave y'all all her money, but <laughs> she ain't getting mine. But when this other young lady came, um, after I'm, I finished tipping, some guys had walked back over. The same guys, actually. They walked back over and started talking to her and shit like that, so... You know, with the older and all of that, you know, putting two and two together. And it's like, okay, that's what she's out there doing. And when she said to me, she said, thank you so much for tipping me. Just the energy. Even before these guys started talking to her and shit, I knew she was the hoe in the club. You know, and everybody kind of knew it. Because it's like the energy, people was kind of looking at me funny. You know, I'm the new face. And <clears throat> I saw how she was looking over at the first two girls. And, you know, it was like... She, she was just like... every. It just seemed like everybody thought that they were better than her. But she was a beautiful young lady. So I just wanted to... I actually wanted to go live, but it's early. And... I'm still trying to get my energy together. But I had become sad <clears throat> because even though, you know, we're grown according to the law when we turn 18 years old, but what is really going on um, where our daughters, and it's, and it's beautiful, beautiful uh, women, young women that are down the teenagers you know because you can strip when you're 18 years old so what is going on in the homes um where these young ladies are having to go out here and do this for myself personally i graduated high school with an academic and an athletic scholarship to college so i should have had I should have never had to step foot inside of a strip club. But what happened to me? I just got to be honest. My grandparents, they were basically taking my money. What made me move and leave home 
one day I came home from basketball practice and my grandmother gave me an envelope and it had some money in it and a stub, a check stub in it. And when I looked at it, it was one of my scholarship checks. And so they had cashed my shit and went to the dog track and then gave me what was left over. And when I got upset about it, you know, they told me, well, we've been taking care of your ass. And so I felt some type of way because during my time in school, nobody came to my basketball games. And I was told, why the hell am I bas- bouncing a basketball up and down a court, wasting my time? But I had to start making plans for myself at a young age. I had to figure it out at a young age because even though we have people that take care of us and that let us live in their houses we don't really have that support you know and so I was just reminded that well for one for me I could always go home even though all that shit happened I could always go home that's one thing I was grateful for I didn't have to be out here but I chose to because I didn't want I wanted to be independent but I could I could always go home but I had left home after that happened and so when I left home it was like it's almost like I forgot that I had this scholarship money because here I am in school I got bills I got my rent I got lights and shit I'm like I gotta pay my bills and I just totally forgot or I, I wasn't aware because I was young. I didn't know I needed to get an address change and all that shit. My grandparents didn't call me and say, hey, your check came. They just steady getting my shit and cashing my shit. And so I'm starting to strip because I need some quick money. I got to pay my bills. And my grandma, she knew I was a fucking stripper. And she was taking money from me. Taking strip club money and taking my fucking money. So I was basically, I don't want to say forced because it was my decision, but I needed quick money, you know, and I wasn't into the drug game at that time. I didn't know how to, you know, sack it up, you feel me? So my next best option was strip because that's the only way I was going to get quick money other than selling drugs. And it's real. It's real. So when I'm leaving the club last night, I just became sad. And a shot started dealing with me and letting me know that in order for the restoration of the feminine, in order for the restoration of this earth, Female bloodlines will need to be restored in mass as a collective because we fail as a collective. We went against the great mother as a collective. And so with that, what we were discussing yesterday with the village and us coming together to help each other us learning to live amongst each other and help take care of each other's children because indeed it requires a village that's what time it is ladies we have to come together for the sake of our bloodlines you know we are thinking that men are the fathers of our children and there is no father it just ain't no father those are your children that you were born with that was in your womb when you were in your mother's womb so to be sitting here waiting on a man to do anything it's not his responsibility men should be honored that women choose them to share that responsibility with but they're not the father You are so powerful, ladies. Your minds are so powerful. Your minds 
shape and mold your children and they come out looking like what your mind was stayed on but they're all yours 100% they're inside of you you carry them babies you birth them babies so we gotta come together because our our daughters are fucking they trapped so as mothers you can't turn a blind eye to that to what your daughters are going through we're supposed to be creating a virtuous woman we're supposed to have things set in place so when our children do come of age they don't have to be forced to go to college and learn lies or become a slave for this system they should be able to have a platform set up where they can come and create with their own minds their own wealth and have that support from their mothers but like we said and like we've been saying <clears throat> the women are chasing men the women have put men before their children to even ask a question of who should eat first you a grown ass man ain't no man supposed to be eating before your children we got it all fucked up in the head man and we gotta get back right because our daughters they trapped they in prison they are wandering these streets and the 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 environment yesterday with the weather because it had rained it was so dark and gloomy and cloudy and shit like it felt lonely out there so we got to get it together ladies <clears throat> and we have to truly and really create these safe spaces for ourselves and our children our daughters need a lot of healing man they carry the blood do you understand the bloodline runs through the mother and through the daughters and if they all fucked up we're just gonna continue producing pain and suffering with and through tr children that we're birthing because of our own pain then we don't we just throw them away a friend of mine she said you know with your culture um when you're 18 that's it you know in my culture children stay until they get it until they got it we're not just gonna throw them out there to the wolves and it's true we throw them out there to the wolves. you 18 get your ass out my house i don't give a damn and it's just so brutal man these are, these are babies out here shaking that ass and hopping on the dick for the mighty dollar. All type of diseases and, you know, Kanye said it best. The prettiest ones have the lowest self-esteem. And it's so true. We have to do better. We must do better. Things are not going to get better for females unless as a collective we make it better. We have to love on our daughters. We have to nurture our daughters. We have to be there for our daughters. They carry the blood. If we wasn't producing daughters, that would be it. Men don't carry children. They can't create children. Females do. So I just wanted to drop that knowledge and wisdom this morning because... I woke up still sad and feeling some type of way. We'll be back live this Sunday. Peace.